So I wonder if, um, if Ian, you might be able to, you know, give us a bit of a, a, a flavour of some of the, the 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 exciting things that are coming up from a from a Stebo perspective in in terms of the the, the outputs of some of the the, the uh, innovation that we've talked about. I can, t yeah. I mean, we can. I mean, we could. Yeah, time is moving on, and we could wax lyrically around uh, very specific POCs. Uh, I, there's there's um, there's one in particular actually, which is I would like to call out. We've just um, we've just launched our early adopter program actually for our new user experience, which we've um, we've been very careful to seek input and evaluation from our user community on what user experience actually means to them. Uh, user experience is a very all encompassing term. And we wanted to make sure that we were able to provide our user community with a, uh, a very engaging user experience. And again, I mentioned earlier about you know, breaking down the barriers between what the enterprise thinks of as a user experience, as opposed to what the commercial world thinks of and the sort of social media world think of as a user experience. So we've been we've been ex taking some very extensive uh, in engagements with our customer community to the point where, to cut a long story short, uh, a few weeks ago we launched our early adopter community, which means that for a select group of our customers, they have access now to our new user experience where we can enter into a phase of, of, of feedback and engagement with uh, those customers to, to see what it means for real users with real data to, to evaluate a new user experience. So we're quite excited about that because that's, that's about setting the direction for the user experience across our entire software platform and portfolio capability. And we're, we're, we're naturally really excited yeah. uh, about that. I think though, outside of the, the user experience kind of realm, uh, one of the one of the things that we're we're quite proud of is the recent um, the the recent uh, work that we did from a AI and machine learning initiative because we we realised uh, some time ago that in order to provide the, the this kind of approach that we aspire to of making machine learning just a normal everyday aspect that we that we consider we spent some time making sure we had a really robust uh, solution for the framework, a, a very kind of um, cloud-focused, multi-tenant-focused um, cloud sy cloud-based system where we can actually host the algorithm. So we remove the complexity from a development point of view. Developers can simply host their algorithms on a well-established uh, environment, and it means that we can lessen the um, lessen the impact, if you like, and the complexity around being able to use and leverage algorithms as well. Not just algorithms that we write at Stevo Systems, but also ones that our partners write or our customers write themselves. We've got that framework well established and in use uh, in the real world with real AI machine learning solutions that our customers are using for things like auto classification and outlier detection and other things as well. So that's proven to be uh, a really good example of where we just pause for a minute and think what's the most robust, scalable way to solve a particular challenge that we we've committed to. So it, it, that that that's another thing, isn't it? It's, it's that it's it's moving with the advances in in cloud scalable architectures, etc., to 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 underpin some of that more creative thinking as well. That, that, and and you know, and yeah. that use case or user experience focused um, focused innovation is, yeah. is 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 really interesting. Well, so yeah. so. That that's presumably about allowing you to kind of gain a, a level of insight from from um, from the platform that, that perhaps you haven't been able to do in the past. And is, is that is that yielding some interesting results then? Yeah, it is because key to um, key to any kind of algorithm uh, is, as I mentioned, is you need the the volume of data and you need the context of that data behind it. So being able to leverage those insights and analytics, not just from a pure data perspective, but also the behavioral data starts to really show value when you can correlate behavioral data from different instances and, and you can start to recognize patterns. The analytics that you can get from that is incredibly insightful, yeah. and um, that in itself is a as it is an input point to some of the innovation topics and the innovation catalog ideas uh, that we have underway right now uh, as well.